welcome to rule seven of our course, the seven rules of adept English. So this is rule seven, day seven. Um, first of all, congratulations. Uh, well done for getting through this far. Um, lots of people start the course, but not everybody gets through to the end. So well done, you have staying power. Um, now, rule seven is learn adeptly. And I thought this was so important that it actually gave its name to the whole course and the website and everything else. Um, adept means skilled. It means proficient at something. It means accomplished or expert. So um, it's use, we're using it to mean um, what we hope will happen, that you become adept at English. But it's also got a meaning, um, it means it's efficient, it's effective, it doesn't go the long way around, it takes shortcuts to get you to your goal. Um, so it's also talking about the way that the courses are written and structured. Now I've said to you before, there's no magic in learning a language. There's no, um, the courses online that say learn English in three weeks, that's not going to happen. It takes time and effort, but it doesn't need to take years and years to do. So Adept English is the aim of the course, but it also refers to the way the courses are written and structured to give you the best chance of learning English. Now, um, if you want to start to become fluent more quickly, it's good to focus on the words and constructs that are used most commonly. So when you're listening to me talk in these videos and in the MP3 files, um, you're hearing a lot of the common words in English. In English school, children often come home and they'll have a sheet of paper with the 200 most common words in English on there for them to learn their spellings. Um, so it's good to take those kinds of shortcuts. There are a lot of words in English, but most of them you won't need to know to do English conversation. 95% of the words in conversation are common words. In fact, it's estimated that probably a hundred words or so account for around 50% of most conversation. Um, any other words you just can learn through context. Now, Adept English aims to provide material for intermediate English language learners. Um, so you'll find that in the pieces you're possibly familiar with most of the words, but there'll always be a couple of things which you don't know, which increases your understanding bit by bit. The principle of rule six, nothing but English. Um, this encourages you to learn and to understand through listening. It means that you don't automatically reach for the dictionary the minute there's a word you don't understand. You learn to sit with the uncertainty. Hmm, what does that word mean? Ooh, am I... And if you get it through context. So you get good at guessing. This is really important because this helps you in real conversation. You're not going to be the rabbit in the headlights um, the minute someone says a word you don't know. It's also really important because it encourages you to think in English and it gets you away from translation. Um, Adept English also uses authentic English, so English as it's spoken normally, genuinely in conversation. It helps you train your ear so that you can deal with things like contractions. Um, I gave you an example of this before, but it'll be something like um, contraction. If you see um, something written down, it might be, can you not see what you are doing? But then when it's said, it would be, can't you see what you're doing? So it's a lot shorter and, and concertinaed up together. Now, it's good to use other sources. I really recommend to you, if you're in the UK, BBC Radio 4. There's a lot of talking on there, but it's good stuff, fascinating and good for the news. Um, the equivalent, if you're outside of the UK, is the World Service. Um, it's a really good source, but actually, um, if you only listened to Radio 4, you probably wouldn't be able to train your ear. Not everybody speaks as they do on Radio 4. Now, the ADEPT English courses also use neuroscientific understanding. So neuroscience is the study of the brain. 
when I'm talking to you about things moving from conscious memory to unconscious memory with practice, um, a neuroscience, a neuroscientist would say from explicit memory to implicit memory. So we do understand something about why this happens. In your own language, in your native language, if somebody asks you about a piece of grammar, you may have to think about it. You know, what is the rule on that? Because you just do it automatically. Um, it's been learned unconsciously. So it's in your implicit memory, but you have to work to get it in your explicit memory to tell the person that the answer to their question. Um, there's a lot of grammar and vocab in English, and there's a lot of things which aren't necessarily logical, but which you um, can learn by listening to them used naturally. It's a bit like when you learn times tables in school. So you might learn to multiply by saying, you know, one five is five, two fives are ten, three fives are fifteen, etc. Um, because you've learnt it, so it's become automatic, the answer just pops into your head, you don't have to think about it. So in order to become fluent, that's what we're aiming at with English language. Fluent means flowing like a liquid, so it just effortlessly comes out of your mouth. Now, it's possible that you've been learning a language, learning English language, for five, eight, ten years or even longer, but you've never managed to become fluent. I've been there too, struggling with my language learning, but I know that this method works. It accelerates your learning, it speeds it up, so you don't need to take that long. It doesn't take years to learn a language. Um, if you immerse yourself in a language, um, 30 minutes a day, every day, regardless of the day of the year, that's the best way to do it. So it might be your birthday, it might be a holiday, just do a little bit every day. Make Adept English one of your tools. Um, we also release um, podcasts as well, um, so there'll be different areas of interest covered by the podcast. Use those too. So just to recap on the rules, rule one says understanding first. Make sure that your understanding, your comprehension is good. Um, rule two, practice by repeating the listening many times. This will really help you. Rule three says stick at it. Find time in your normal schedule for your English language learning. And rule four says be nice to yourself. Don't be held back by your inner critic. Have a good attitude to your learning. Rule five says nothing but English. So learn to think in English, don't translate, and learn new grammar and vocabulary by coming across them in context. Rule six says use the helping hand that Adept English offers you for the difficult bits of English language, those things that really, really puzzle non-native speakers. And rule seven, learn adeptly. Don't waste time. Start working towards your fluency today. So that's the end of the free course. Now, I suggest you go back and you use these recordings and you listen to each rule lots of times. Um, and that will help you learn and understand how the course works. Also, don't forget there's always a transcript of every piece. So um, if there's things in there that you don't understand through listening, and even when you've listened several times, there's a word that you can't quite work out what it means. Use the transcript to discover what the word's meaning is. Uh, you can look it up in the dictionary if necessary, but then go back and listen so that it becomes embedded in the bit that you understand. Now I have a question for you. Are you going to go further with your English language learning? Um, we're going to be supplying courses um, to help with your learning, so courses that you can buy online. It's a very simple process, they don't need to come through the post, they are downloadable courses. So again, a bit like this course, um, you can get them straight away, you don't have to wait. Um, they will take you a lot further with your English language learning and they are graded in terms of level of difficulty. Now, Adept English is not magic, it does take time and commitment. 
but it does work with your brain and your brain's natural way of learning language. It works with it, not against it. Uh, and it means that it will be there automatically when you want to speak English. You never know, in the end, you may find that you can even speak English in your sleep. It's become so automatic. I hope you've enjoyed this free course. I hope that you will look us up online at Adept English and find out about the courses that you can buy and have a look also at our podcast material. Again, everything comes with a transcript. The podcasts will be perhaps a little bit more advanced, um, but again, with a transcript, you can have a look at those as well and, and hopefully understand most of it. All the best with your language learning and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.